airborne, its display weight is 45,000 pounds, and with over 50,000 pounds of thrust available to this aircraft, this is going to be a really... <laughs> from a big 
fighter with the MiG-29, not as big as this, but nonetheless a uh, very potent aeroplane at the Farnborough Show 30 years ago, the tail slide. Very impressive for a number of reasons. Firstly, aerodynamically, bear in mind the strength of the aircraft is built in laterally, but for the aircraft to be going forward. So in a tail slide, the stresses and strains on the aircraft are uh, amplified. Also, the flight control inputs are in the opposite sense to make the aircraft do what it would do whilst going forward. But also, the engines, they require hundreds of litres of air per second. And with the air not going in the, in the right direction, um, it's uh, amazing that the, uh, the, the engines don't go into a surge regime. So we've seen it once and now we're going to see it again. does make you wonder, the first time this manoeuvre was ever done, was it deliberate? <laughs> 67 Su-27s were taken on by the Ukrainian Air Force when the country became independent from the Soviet Union and they carried on serving in the same roles as they had back in Soviet times. Apart from the flankers like this one of the 831st. stationed at Otserna in the north of Ukraine. The standard armament much the same as it was in the Soviet era. Medium range R-27 and short range R-73 air-to-air missiles, a maximum of 10 in all, plus the aircraft has an internal 30mm cannon and they say they practice close air support with these aircraft so presumably because of the lack of air to ground stores they would use the cannon for that. Now we can tell this is an upgraded flanker because of the so-called pixelated colour scheme that's applied in blue and that is put on the aeroplanes after they undergo a general overhaul. The same is true of other Ukrainian Air Force aircraft. And now a slow pass with the big dorsal air brake extended.
in the course of upgrading these airplanes is, uh, apart from giving them a new satellite navigation and uh, instrument landing systems. Transponders to allow them to participate in international operations under various internationally recognized regulations. And that's very important because obviously the uh, Ukrainian Air Force has been turning increasingly to the West in recent years. Joint exercises have started taking place, so they very much need that capability on their flankers. Display pilot, as last year, is Colonel Alexander Oksanchenko. He has been displaying the aircraft since 2011, and he has around 1,050 flying hours on type. We get quite a lot of paperwork to see as part of preparation for commentating on all of these aircraft. And uh, some of it for the flanker related to the sort of flying that they practice on a daily basis back in Ukraine. And of course, they do one versus one, two versus two, aerial combat, and then it said melee. I like the sound of that. And there's that big air brake extended once again as the aircraft comes into land, the Ukrainian Air Force Sukhoi Su-27 P-1M. With some aerodynamic braking going on as well, holding the nose wheel off, and we're just about to see two very large brake chutes come out of the back. Wonderful display. Uh, just one uh, correction I've just received from the uh, Operations uh, Control Centre. Uh, regarding uh, exit on foot from the uh, display, apparently uh, those... Are